Hi Cancer, welcome to your January tarot forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you for coming back. So Cancer, we're going to take a, the look, take a look at the energies around you at this time, whether they be love, whether they be general. We're just going to take the energies as they come. So we'll see what comes out for you. So I do say this is for January, but I consider whenever you see this, it's good for whenever. And I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists, um, your playlists are below in the description box. So please feel free to check out below. There's a lot of information, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram. Uh, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, tons of stuff down there, your playlist. So check it out if you like to. All right, so let's see what's going on with Cancer. We're going to get your energies and we're going to clarify with Tarot. We're going, we're going to get opening energies first with this deck. Whole tarot spread clarifying with this deck and then uh, closing closing messages with that deck if I can speak. So let's open up here with a zodiac card. So we could get um, sign, element, planet, the sun. So this is Leo energy. So if you're not dealing with a Leo or you don't know a Leo or maybe you have Leo in your chart, that is totally fine. The sun is all, all about you, who you are, your identity, your originality, uh, your soul, who, you know, being like true to yourself and who you are, your soul purpose, your soul mission, and uh, that kind of energy, your identity. And it also, with sun, is about happiness and joy. And I just noticed sun is 13, which is four, and can't say you're four, and four is all about stability. And the sun in tarot, though, does mean happiness, joy, success, um, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, children, um, and that kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays out for you. So the first, well, the second thing we're going to do here is get an opening message for you from this deck. And then we'll get the energy you're in, go over the bottom of the deck, and then we'll do a whole spread with the tarot around this energy. To clarify what's going on with you and then we'll close out with some closing messages from the other oracle all right so let's get an opening message for cancer welcome everybody welcome hope everybody's doing well happy holidays merry christmas happy new year hanukkah whatever you celebrate <laughs> at this time Ooh. oh let's see well we had two fall on the floor i just want one all right, let's get one card for Cancer. What, take that one. What is your opening message? We have higher power. Four, again, with the stability. So that's three fours, four, four, four. Wow. Very, uh, you may want to look up angel number four, 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 but that is all about the basis, foundation, stability, higher power. That's all about um, spirituality faith and that kind of energy and I just got that card for um, Sagittarius I believe it was so I don't know if that means anything if you know a Sagittarius or not all right Sagittarius is a fire sign and Sun is fire higher power conscious contact with a higher power the presence of the divine seeing source energy in all things committing to a partnership with spirit so we'll see if that means anything, or you just be, could be coming into your uh, power here. All right, so let's see. Or, ooh, let's well, two. I just want one. What is the energy of Cancer? What kind of energy are they in right now? Okay, there we go. Deep knowing. <laughs> wow. And then you have seven. Seven is a very uh, spiritual, divine number. And that high power is all about spirituality. So maybe you're having like a big spiritual awakening here, deep knowing. You know, deep knowing, like listening to your gut and your intuition and being divinely guided and connected with source. So let's see, 43, deep knowing, just to give you a little uh, definition of the card. Intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, hypersensitivity. So again, all about that higher power and listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, being connected to source. Wow. A lot of spiritual energy here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Come to the edge, 36, which is nine. So nine is almost at the completion of something because nine comes 10 and then 10 goes to one, which is a new beginning. 
So come to the edge. And I also think I got that for, um, I think I got that for Sagittarius too. That's just crazy. So let's see, 36. Come to the edge. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. So you may be uh, just connecting with your inner knowing and knowing it's time for a new start. Like there's just that deep knowing. And that's like the fool energy, come to the edge, which is like taking a leap of faith. Wow. So we have four, seven, nine. We got four, three times here. Then we have seven. Then we have nine. Hmm. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Cancer. What is going on with Cancer at this time? Why? Wow. Well, let's see. Oh, that was a big clump. No, big clump. And they all fell reverse, so I don't feel... I don't usually take reversals unless they fall reverse, but I don't like... Okay. <laughs> all right, so that one's reverse. So we have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords Upright is usually about open, honest communication. Um, oh, it can be also keeping tabs on somebody. Uh, it can be, you know, learning new things. It can be um, that kind of energy. But let's get a note, another card here. Maybe you're not communicating with anybody about what you're doing here. Like if you're planning a new beginning with, you know, the Fool energy there. Yeah, <laughs> Three of Pentacles working working here on your plan, on your decision. could be about career. And you could be planning like a whole new path, a whole new way, a whole new career. That page of swords in reverse. Maybe you're just not telling anybody. You're keeping it to, to yourself. Maybe you're not discussing it with anybody. You may be even lying. Uh, like if rumor gets out, oh yeah, she's looking for a new job or she's doing this or that. You may be even denying it, like <laughs> lying about it. Like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> But secretly here, you're planning something here, working on plans here, I feel. All right, so let's see more energy here. The devil, hmm, toxic energy here. So let's see why that's here. Why is that here? Conflict, competition, arguments, petty energy. Could be where the situation you're in now like if, like wherever you're working, maybe there's a lot of like conflict and like petty shit going on. And you're like, you know what? This is all like nonsense, like this toxic um, devil energy. It's like, you know what? I'm just kind of done with it already. So that you're secretly planning, like you're secretly planning your route of escape. <laughs> Not telling anybody and knowing it's the best thing for you to do. Okay, I guess that one wanted to stay. King of Swords, yeah, so truth, clarity, wow. So truth and clarity, like this deep knowing of having this deep knowing of truth and clarity within yourself with the King of Swords energy. I mean, the King of Swords can be about uh, communication, but it doesn't have to be. It could just, just be that deep knowing and clarity and that divine source. The swords always remind me of the divine source also. So yeah, you have that deep knowing and clarity from within. It's like, I just got to get out of this energy. So I think you're secretly planning your escape. Secretly planning your escape, are we, Cancer? To your happiness and joy with the sun. All right, so let's get a couple more. Let's get some more to clarify this energy. Strength, wow. <laughs> Leo, so yes, yeah, mustering all, all your strength, courage, willpower, determination, uh, being courageous and brave. Also holding back and not telling anyone. So that's also taming the beast from within and holding back and not telling anybody about your plans. The page of swords in reverse. No communication. Not telling anybody. So, okay. Oh, and that energy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that one too. All right. <laughs> A queen of pentacles. Yeah, you, you just want to be stable, secure, and grounded. You want to make your money, your coin. You want to be in a better place. You could be, you know, seeking out a new job opportunity or it could be something coming in here where you can be much more stable and grounded and uh, making more coin, actually. And here's that truth of clarity again with the Ace of Swords. Brand new beginning based on truth and clarity. The sword of victory and success. Cutting away BS no longer serving you. 
It's like you finally put your like foot down or your sword down, and it's like you're just you're just doing it, but you're not telling anyone. You're not telling the moon secret energy. You're not telling anyone. Listening to your gut. That's your gut intuition. Your higher knowing with the moon energy. Very intuitive energy. You have deep strong feelings about this. You're not telling anyone. You're keeping it to yourself. It's like you're you're planning this out, this journey, this path you're going on. But you're not telling anyone. The moon can be about secrets. So you're like secretly planning your escape. I may title title it that. <laughs> secretly planning your escape. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. So let's get your advice. So we have the seven of wands, fire energy. And the Eight of Wands. Wow, the Seven and Eight of Wands. So this is you, like, defending yourself, like, putting up a stance, a guard. Maybe you have to defend yourself in whatever situation you're in now. We have a lot of uh, wand energy here also. So, But this is taking action, movement, travel, communication, being very fiery and passionate. So I feel like you're just standing your course, standing your ground. Like, this is what I'm doing. That's your advice is to keep doing what you're doing. Stay, stay your course, stand your ground, and keep taking this movement forward even though you're not telling anyone. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see what other, what else do we have here? So we have the hermit and the seven swords. Wow, so the hermit, you know, goes deep within, finds their way, their light, does that deep soul searching, uh, finding, you know, the truth and what they need to do. And there's a seven of swords energy of like, gotta get out, gotta sneak away, just got to get out of here kind of energy. So yeah, like secretly planning your route of escape. <laughs> Escaping that energy, that that deceitful, hurtful energy, that sneaking away energy. Like I'm sneaking away, got to get out of here. I'm not telling anyone with the hermit energy. I've gone within, higher knowing, deep knowing. I'm in my power, higher power. I'm going to take a leap of faith, going in a new direction, making my secret plans here, not telling anybody to my stability my abundance, having that truth and clarity, using all your strength and courage and willpower, not telling anyone, getting out and away from negative toxic energy, like finally putting your foot down, your sword down, you see the uh, path clearly. All right, so, because we got the, wow, we got the moon here and we got the moon here. Wow. So let's see what your possible outcome is. So the three cups, so you're going to be happy. You're going to go out and have a good time. Celebrating, rejoicing, friends, family, maybe even with some co-workers that are happy for you. Going out and hel having a good time. I say hell of a time celebrating, just being happy. All right, so. Ace of Wands is your fiery, passionate brain of beginning. Divinely guided, feeling excited for the future. Excited for the future, fiery, passionate, can't wait for this new start. Five of Cups, yeah, you're walking away from the sadness, hurt, um, petty bullshit. I feel like it's just you go home every day and you're like, ugh, really? It's like, I can't deal with this anymore. I don't know if you necessarily feel sad, hurt, or, you know, a sense of loss. I feel like you just go home and you go, ugh, every day. Like, ugh, I just got to get out of this <laughs> kind of energy. I'm surprised we didn't get the Four of Cups. We may show up. So let's go over the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords, again, is like the Hermit energy. You know, meditating, going within, deep knowing, contemplating, thinking, healing, rejuvenating kind of energy. Nine of Wands, you know, you're going to keep fighting on, fighting on for the future here. Eight of Cups, again, walking away from something here, no longer serving you to your happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, which is coming true, dreams coming true, planning, investing for your future here. Seven of Pentacles, but you may have to wait for a time here. Maybe you have to uh, fill obligations or whatever, but you're investing and planting seeds for the future here. The hanged man, yeah, it's on a pause, on a break, but you know, you're gaining new perspective, thinking things through thoroughly, um, you know, just have, having to wait till the right time, till you can make these plans and decisions moving forward to your new independence, your stability, making more coin, being much more abundant, taking care of yourself on your own two feet. Plans, decisions moving forward. Once you know every everything comes out of stagnation, investing wisely for your future. 
to total happiness and joy, wish fulfillment, walking away from what's no longer serving you, keep fighting and pushing on, and knowing deep down exactly what you need to do here with the Four of Swords energy. You've thought about it long and hard. So let's see, we have, do, 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 we have Cancer Pisces here. We have Leo. Uh, we have Virgo. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Capricorn. Um, what is this here? We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. So those are the major signs I see. So so not, I mean, we have like all the signs here, but for the major arcana and the court cards, those are the major signs I see. So may or may not mean anything, but I know people like to know uh, signs. So now I wait till the end to say the signs, the major signs of the majors and the court cards, such as like the Queen of Pentacles. So... Oh, court cards are king, queen, knight, page. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get some closing messages for you, Cancer. So I do ask Cancer if you do like how I read or for you new. Please do like, share, uh, subscribe, and comment. Love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do four readings a month. I do four monthly readings. I do a love connection. I do a tower forecast. I do a singles who's coming towards you. I do uh, messages from spirit or angel reading. I switch it up, do different kind of um, spiritual readings like that. And I also just started a new weekly element forecast reading. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. Wow, so we have looking deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. So again, looking deeper with the hermit, with the four swords energy right here, looking deeper. So you do have majestic radiance within you and moving forward in the future trusting your intuition my life is truly guided exactly a lot of that energy here with deep knowing higher power trusting your intuition with the hermit the four of swords the moon energy wow the ace of swords and then we have coming into power wow higher power i can't make this up i step into my power boldly and confidently Wow, and I had felt that coming into your power and knowing deep down exactly what you need to do. So you're making like a secret plan of escape. <laughs> Whether it's a job, I feel like it's like career orient orientated. Um, you feel like you just can't tell anyone. It's like you, you keep it to yourself and it's like you just got to get out. I mean, it could be a relationship or something else, but however uh, it resonates for you. Hearing messages from spirit. Wow. I am a clear channel for messages from spirits. So a lot of spiritual energy here, being divinely guided, listening to your intuition, your higher knowing, and being connected to source. Wow. And just doing what's best for you. Wow, Cancer. Wow. So best of luck to you, Cancer. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.